Good morning, Cubs. I'm Brinley. And I'm Josh. And this is your exciting broadcast for today. And now for announcements. Attention students, O'Leary's Spelling Bee is coming up. There will be compet competitors from each language arts class to decide who will compete in the school-wide competition. ELA teachers class Spelling Bee should be completed and your winner emailed to Miss Montoya by Friday, January 13th. The word list was forwarded by Miss Smith. Attention parents and students, the Winter Family Fun Night at O'Leary will be held on January 24th from, eight, from 6 to 8 p.m. There will be games and refreshments. More information will be coming. Orange Leaf Yogurt will be sold every Thursday during all lunches starting this week. The cost per yogurt is $2. Homework Club, if you need extra help, then you want to attend OMS Homework Club and everyone's invited. The, this club will start next Tuesday and um, happens every Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 4 o'clock. Six, sixth grades report to Ms. Pagilia in room A42 or Ms. Parker in A40. The seventh graders report to either Pagilia, Parker, Smith, or Robbins. Eighth graders report to Ms. Smith in room A22 or Ms. Robbins in A25. Students, we want your baby picture. The O'Leary Cub News is in need of baby pictures for our baby face picture segment. Please bring your baby pictures into the front office and place it into the baby face bucket for a chance to be in our broadcast. Your picture must have your first and last name and your primetime teacher name on the back of the picture. Boosters. Boosters now have new spirit wear available for purchase. New styles and designs. If you would like to take a new a look at what they have, there are a few samples in the office. Also go to O'Leary boosters.com and see the new line of apparel. If you are interested in purchasing something, please order directly on the site. Your order will be delivered to the school in one to, one to two weeks from Quick Draw. The boosters will not be keeping an inventory of these, these items as in the past. It can only be purchased online. Half price sale. The Spirit Gear currently is in stock on sale for 50% off. Come check out the gear after school. Many sizes still available. Hey Cubs, I'm Trevor. And now for campus news. This school year, two new elementary schools have opened up. Rock Creek and Pillar Falls Elementary. But have you ever wondered how these new schools are doing? Through the highs and lows of opening a new school, Nancy Murphy, the principal of Pillar Falls Elementary School, loves her job. Mrs. Murphy is excited about the rest of the school year and the future of Pillar Falls. Hi, I'm Claire and I'm here with Nancy Murphy, the principal of Pillar Falls Elementary. So, what has been the best part about opening up a new school? Well, the most fun part about this whole experience has been watching the building start from the ground and move all the way up to a brand new building. Uh, along the way, I got to see the different parts of the school being built, and it was fun to see the changes that were happening as we got closer to the start of school. So what was the worst part about opening up a new school? The worst part is that there are not any procedures or plans in place. You have to come up with everything, from where the kids line up to go to recess or to lunch, or how they move about the building, or even where your lost and found will go. You have to think about everything. So what's your favorite part about being a principal? The best part about my job is that I get to come to school every day to a job I love. I work with fantastic teachers, great kids and parents, and every day there's something new. I never know what I'm going to face when I come to school and I love every minute of it. So what are some of the favorite parts of your building? Well, our building has some really nice features. There are some auditorium steps, which is really unusual for an elementary school. So part of the steps are our staircase to get up and down the stairs. But then the other section is for kids to sit so we can have guest presenters come and they can do presentations with our projector and it makes a nice auditorium area for each grade level to use. Another nice feature of our building is that each um, area has pods. Each grade level has their own separate area where they can come in and out of the building and they also have a common space to use for their grade level. And finally, our gym and our lunchroom are one giant room that has a movable wall 
so that we can use it as two separate rooms or one giant room. So that's going to be fun for special school activities that we have in the future. Okay, thank you for your time. Sounds like Pillar Falls is going great and has a bright future. Thanks for that interview, Mrs. Murphy. Many kids in other cities have no idea that Twin Falls even exists. Most people only know Twin Falls because of the Prime Bridge. However, Twin Falls may have a rising star. Heath Harmison, who grew up in Twin Falls and went to O'Leary, may become famous. He was just recently in a huge comedy competition that Robin Williams and Ellen DeGeneres became famous in. He got he placed in the comedy competition. I just have a few questions for you. Okay. So, um, my first question is, what was your favorite subject in middle school? Uh, it would have to be drama. Ramirez, she changed me as a person. Like, she shaped me. That's why I say drama, because that was such a pivotal point for me. She shaped me into who I am today. She helped do that. And so it is crazy uh, that I, I became I, and started doing what I do. I don't think I would be here if she didn't put me out on stage in my underwear, which she did. So you were in a major comedy competition. What was that like? Uh, it was stressful, uh, a lot of fun. Um, it was uh, a month long, so it was very, uh, it was kind of one of those, uh, it was a constant pressure happening. So it's that competitive nature, um, but it helped me grow as a performer, and uh, it was really good for me to do, for sure. Um, a lot of great comedians in it. Uh, there was from all over the world, so... Uh, there was uh, almost a thousand submissions. There was only 32 that made it into the competition. Well, oh, I'm. Um, so, have you been in many competitions before? Um, I've done a couple. Um, they were on a smaller scale. Um, so, I uh, did one called the Rocky Mountain Laugh Off, which was in Salt Lake. Um, and that was, you know, about 20 comedians. Um, and that was towards the beginning of my career. What's your favorite joke? Okay, so I would say my favorite joke is, uh, my Meredith joke. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, yeah. but my Meredith joke is fun because it talks about more than just sports and parents, you know, that you deal with, but it's kind of a person that yeah. you deal with in life. It's, it's not just the mom. But it's the, the generalized type of person that's in this on this planet, you know, yeah. that is just crazy. You know what I mean? They just they they want to just take the fun out of out of everything, you know. So, anyways, I don't. Yeah, that's my probably my favorite joke to tell. message and go after whatever you guys want you know what I mean serious that's what I anything out of what you've heard today you can take from me is go after the dreams forget all the negativity around you and all the negative voices that are telling you no and you go after whatever dream it is that you want to accomplish because you can do whatever you set your sights on promise I promise I was an I was a C student you guys a C student, I've traveled the world, okay? I could have tried harder, trust me. I could have tried just a lot harder. I'm a smart guy, all right? So I could have tried harder, but anyway. 
Keith Hermanson could be the new Hollywood star. Best wishes, Keith. Hey Cubs, I'm Kaylee. Now it's time for lunch. Today's lunch will be roasted chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, breadstick, peaches, low-fat milk, sriracha chicken bites, and salad bar. Good morning, Cubs. It's Armand, and now it's time for birthdays. January 11th, Caitlin Cooper, William McDonald. January 12th, Connor Frick, Isaiah Moreno. January 13th, Juan Blancas, Sienna Lake, Kaylee Martinez, Lena Nelson. January 14th, Arami Estrada, Hunter Grisman, Anna Novak, Xander Rhodes. Howdy, Cubs. I'm Ashley, and now it's time for recycling. How many feet of paper can save one tree? Is it A, 5 feet, B, 3 feet, C, 10 feet, or is it D, 6 feet? And the answer is B, 3 feet. Hola, Cubs. It's Chloe, and now it's time for baby face. Who is a stunning baby girl? Is it A, Brinley Iverson, B, Isabel Manning, C, Mari Carmen Alea, or is it D, Maria Fergoso? And the answer is B, Isabel Manning. Hello Cubs, I'm Patrick, and now for your fantastic word power. What does the word murmuration mean? Is it A, whispering softly, B, murmuring over a long period of time, C, an act or instance of murmuring, or is it D, a loudly speaking? And the answer is C, an act or instance of murmuring. Hello Cubs, my name's Leah, and here's another amazing where in the world are we? This place is... A freezing place is located in Turkey near the River Men Menderes Valley. This frigid area has a very pop popular thermal hot springs that brings tourists from all over to visit. The warm water is very saturated in minerals such as calcium, magnesium, sulfate, and biocarbonate. This, this area has a shell-shaped basins of ice and snow and frozen waterfalls to decorate this cliffside. The hot springs flows at a rate of 400 liters per second. Is it A, Istanbul, Turkey, B, Pam Pamukkale, Pamuk Turkey, C, Amasara, Turkey, or is it D, Z Izmir, Turkey? And the answer is B, Pamukkale, Turkey. Hey Cubs, it's Parker, and now for Today in History. On this day, January 12, 2010, an earthquake occurs in Haiti, killing 230,000 people and destroying the majority of the capital, Port-au-Prince. Hey Cubs, I'm Kennedy. Now for what's trending. Thanks for that video. Hello Cubs, I'm Casey. Now for today's weather. There will be a high of 37 degrees, a low of 35 degrees, 90% chance of precipitation, and wind speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. I'm Ellie, and now for today's sports. January 12th, boys white basketball home versus Kimberly. What's up Cubs? I'm Izzy, and now for today's quote. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. Abraham Lincoln. I'm Josh. And I'm Brinley. And this is the end of the broadcast. Have a great day. Hey Cubs, I'm Colin. Now please stand for the pledge. <laughs>